What's up fishy friends? Today we are going to be using some at home, well semi at home, for a DIY frag holder. Well it's a semi DIY because you will need somewhat of a magnet cleaner or some sort of a reef safe magnet before you continue to make this. You will also need an egg crate from your local hardware store, which this one I had previously cut from a larger portion of a full size egg crate. Now this one we have here is by Topfin. Sorry Topfin, you're probably not going to like this, but it is great for a cleaner, I guess, if you're just using it that much, because if you take it off, then it doesn't restick itself. That's the problem. So, I mean, there is going to be somewhat of a certain positioning we're going to have to be placing this in order for that not to happen once it's fully installed as a frag holder. But do not worry, these things are super cheap and it will serve its purpose as a great essential tool while making a DIY frag holder at a very cheap cost. Now, when cutting this from its original size, you will need either a Dremel, somewhat of a jigsaw that's gonna be very light, or what I chose to use, which is a wood burning tool kit, because this basically solders the ends and they actually snap off extremely easy if there's any leftover debris. Okay, so now we're just gonna fish this out. Get all that excess sand off of it. And now we're ready to move on to the next step. So what I've already just done was actually get some sandpaper and kind of remove the smooth surface on this side to make it a little more, a little more matte. So it'll actually work better with the adhesive that I'm using to fit. I'm also going to melt that to be a little more contour so it kind of hugs that one side of it a little bit better. And I just used about a 300 grit sandpaper to take that gloss away as you can see it's glossy there and not glossy on this side anymore so that'll allow it to stick better. So we're going to plug this sucker in and let it get ready. It's going to heat up. It gets really hot. So this will work perfectly fine for what we needed to. So just doing some basic observation and measuring. It takes up about two of those squares. I'm not going to wait until it gets extremely hot so it at least somewhat melts it without singeing it, without burning through it. Okay, so I wanted this to come out good and I didn't have three hands. I wasn't able to film and do this at the same time, but basically it gets really hot. It just cuts right down the middle. Boom, 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 boom. Now you have these little pieces that are left over that easily just pretty much snap off you can see and they break very clean so I'm gonna break these off here and now this fits pretty snug right along the side it's a little more bent so it'll be able to hold the glue that I needed to hold and we have a little bit more of a cleaner not so bulky shelf going on right now I got my reef glue and that's gonna be what we're gonna use it's by Seachem it's actually good stuff it's reef safe of course and that's what we're going to be using to connect this magnet cleaner to our DIY frag holder. Okay, so this stuff does dry pretty quick. I'm just going to put a little dab. Right there and voila. have to let this sit get it all around there probably gonna wind up having to hold this I didn't find anything to fasten it with I should have but I didn't look at that strong that is in like two seconds boom it's balancing I'm actually holding it right now after it secures itself I'll reinforce it with just a couple more drips around the end Nice. So I'm going to allow this to sit on this piece of cardboard just so it can dry. It's pretty well balanced right there. All right, and that's pretty much going to be the final product. Hopefully it, you know, stays secure. I'm going to go ahead and reinforce it after it's dry with a second little touching in certain areas with the reef glue. And that should hopefully do the trick. 
All right, so at this point, it's been sitting for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and do some final little touches underneath. Oh, my finger's getting stuck. Ah! All right, this stuff dries quick. All right, so once again, we'll let that sit for another 15 minutes. Make sure always to, there's a lot of glue in here, to just wipe the tip off before you put the cap back on. Even if a little paper gets stuck to it, that's fine. You can always prick the end with a needle if you need to, just to make sure it's clear before restoring your coral polyp glue. And now once again, as this is drying, I just want to explain this. These are a very simple way of making a frag holder, uh, and it's very inexpensive. I mean, not to mention even just you have, you can make several out of them. If you have the materials, if you get the correct magnets, if you do your research online, then you can make, you know, several of these if you want. And I mean, in my bio cube, being that the back is a plastic, I mean, you can also glue these to the back, which I was contemplating on possibly doing. I was going to maybe glue it on the back, but I said, you know what, since I have this magnet just sitting around and it doesn't function as well as, you know, a typical, you know, mag float would, I just, I didn't find any other reason not to use it. Now I have not used any magnets from the craft store or the you know the local home improvement store at all, but um, you know they do say that the neodymium magnets are not reef safe unless they're encapsulated and watertight. Um, now, however, if you get ceramic ones, it says that they are. I would personally do your research on that because I definitely care about my tank and I do not want to risk my fish nor my coral that I'm going to get to film and fill this in our future video. And they do come in a large size, getting it from the store. I mean, this is a two and a half foot by three foot, so you can make, I mean, as you could see, the dent that it took out of this was very minimal, so you can make enough out of this. Now, I did use my mag float over here just to try to salvage this last little piece or corner of this green star polyp, as you could see that little polyp blowing in the breeze right there on the left. So in my other video, I explained kind of how and why I did that, but otherwise, I just would have rested it right on top of here. But that would have also been interesting to see, would this even be able to withstand that rock as well as other frags on here? I don't know yet. Because this one, unfortunately, is not the most impressive magnet cleaner I've seen. And I couldn't get a shot of him in my other video, but now that he's out, these this is one of the reasons why this rock was always knocked over by this beast right here, this gorilla crab. It's important to preserve and secure your corals above and away from certain invertebrates within your tank. Okay, so there you have it. It's dried for about two and a half hours now. I also use a blow dryer just to make sure underneath was perfectly secure. It's well rinsed off with a little bit of water and vinegar to make sure it was disinfected as well. So we are going to go ahead and for the big test we are going to place it in the tank. I'm going to go ahead and place this just like I would any other magnet float. Nice! That's sweet, it even still works as a magnet, look at that. Just if I let it go and I take it off, it's gonna fall. So of course, if there's any coral on here, it's actually pretty strong magnet, so I'm not worried about that whatsoever. It's got a good hold here. Even when I tilt it, it's got some secure angle with all the glue we use, so I am very pleased with that. Woo! Fits snug like a bug in a rug. Thank you so much for watching this little DIY experiment of making your own frag holder. Now in our next video this weekend, I can't wait to go buy some frags. We are going to fill this thing. I don't know how many or what species of coral we are going to get, but we for sure are going to get some interesting ones. So once again, thank you for watching A1A Adventures. Stay tuned for more. Please like this video, hit that notification bell button below, and subscribe to this channel for more saltwater and freshwater aquatics and animal adventures.